Hey guys, about two months ago, a pebble or something hit my front um, AC condenser on my 2007 Honda Accord. So I'm going to make a DIY on it. Basically, this is the air conditioner uh, condenser in the front of the car, right behind the grill. So what happened is that a little rock went inside and basically nicked it and it lost all the Freon and stuff. So not fun because it cost about 400 bucks to replace. So what I did was that, you know, after paying 400 bucks, I'm going to basically put, make a grill in front of it. So this is the grill that I put onto it. I'm actually going to paint it as well. So this is a quick DIY on how to put a grill on your Honda or any other car. Um, I made a video before for my 2017 uh, Chevy Volt because that has to protect a $1,000 you know, condenser in front. What I did was just went to uh, Home Depot, bought myself about four feet by, you know, um, three feet of this uh, grill material, the fencing material for doors. It's just made of aluminum, so it won't rust or anything. So I'm not expecting it to rust or anything. What I did was I actually just placed it right in front of it and kind of traced it along um, the mouth of the of the cord's uh, air dam and basically start cutting. So. Of course, I did, you know, I just squished it in later and realized that was a little big, so it did scratch a little paint, which that's didn't happen on my 2017 Chevy um, Volt because I did it much more with paper. So I suggest you use paper. You will need to use a 11 millimeter um, thing to remove the nuts on the license plate. There are two license plate nuts that to remove that uh, the license plate holder. So there it is. But other than that, after you take those things off, you could just quickly put the screen on top, make use a Sharpie, make it a, a overall template, and just start cutting with a pair of metal shears. And I'll put the links to those uh, items below. So very simple, place it on top, it basically you just basically mush it in there and basically that's it. Now I could be done with it and just put it on there, but I want to make sure these things don't fall out when I'm driving on the road. So I took it off and basically cut enough um, for the two uh, bolts as well as got some more zip ties and also some uh, door edging material. These are just plastic uh, door edging material you get on Amazon and I'll put the link below too. Again, it needs to be softened up first so I put it in front of a little space heater just to soften it up so that it's easier to put in. So once you put it in, it's nice and pliable. You can actually run this thing along the edges of the entire thing so it won't scratch any paint. Um, and then just basically cut it so that you have uh, enough to cover the edges where it touches paint. So. Overall, you just wiggle it in and it slowly wiggle each side of it until it falls into place. And it's pretty straightforward and simple like that. I'm probably gonna do this for most of my cars if I ever get any new cars because I already had a radiator go out this way by having a little rock hit, not the radiator, but the air AC condenser. All you do now, after you put those edgings on, is just zip tie it. And it's pretty simple to put a zip tie in it. What I did was I just pull it down and then uh, run the zip tie through one of the current, the, the air dam, um, that's already there, one of those um, uh, structures, and just basically looped it back and looped it back to the front after getting the initial, you know, overall height of that, uh, where that bar is, and then just zip it tied together. It's not that hard. Now, I use black zip ties. You could use white zip ties or whatever, or whatever zip ties you want, but you basically zip it in. You could actually leave this as it is because it's aluminum and it won't rust anyways, but I noticed that when rocks do hit this uh, aluminum grid, it will dent. So what I did was that, you know, after zip tying it and, you know, make sure everything fits, I basically pulled it in and tightened it all up, snipped it off, nice and clean. And I really didn't want to see the zip ties or the grid anymore. So, you know, you could just stop here and say, okay, I'm done. You know, and just put the um, license plate back on. But I didn't. I decided to put plastic dip on it, just like on my Chevy Vogue. So I could make this thing completely disappear and don't even, so people won't even notice it. So basically it disappears along with uh, the air dam. So got myself a two inch uh, brush and started brushing it right on. So the reason why I did with, with a two inch brush and I was spraying it is because I really don't want to deal with masking or anything else like that. I'm just gonna brush the whole thing, including the zip ties and just make the whole thing a really, really strong pasta dipped um, mesh. Now I'm not even worried about the over uh, brush overs because I'm just gonna rub it off right off. It comes out very easy like so. Um, just a little finger move and it basically just rubbed right off. No big deal. So that's the rough finished product. Uh, and the last thing you do is basically just mount the um, license plate holder back on and that's it. Very, very simple. Very. It took me about probably, what, 20 minutes to do the cutting and then to about, let's say an hour. This is like an hour to do all those fun stuff. And that will save you probably 400 bucks in a AC condenser for your Honda Accord. Or or for the Chevy Volt, it's like $1,000 for that uh, the Chevy Volt electric drive coolant 
uh, condenser thing or radiator. Anyways, guys, please like, subscribe for more DIYs and Chevy Volt or Honda stuff. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.